For couples facing infertility, IVF is the treatment of choice, but I've led an international consortium of scientists to develop a new form of infertility treatment that's cheaper, less invasive and more patient friendly. And this is essentially an advanced form of IVM. IVM stands for oocyte or egg in vitro maturation and it's a technique that's been around since the 1960s, the same as IVF, but it's always been less efficient than IVF, so it hasn't been widely used. After many years of research, we've been able to notably improve the efficiency of IVM by mimicking in the laboratory some of the processes that naturally occur during ovulation. The success of IVF is dependent on treating women with large doses of hormones. IVM is an alternative to IVF because you don't treat the woman with hormones, you treat the egg in the laboratory. Our team of scientists have discovered a new growth factor called cumulin. And we found that when we add cumulin together with cyclic AMP to the egg in the laboratory, we have a 50% increase in the efficiency of IVM, which brings it to the level of IVF, which means that in the future this could be an alternative to IVF. As someone who spends a lot of time doing IVF with patients, this will make my job easier because the experience for the patient will be quicker, easier and cheaper, but importantly more patient friendly by removing most or all of the doses of hormones we have to use. So I found IVF really intense and stressful. I was um, willing to do anything to have a baby. So yeah, I had to overcome my fear of needles to um, give myself the injection. With all the ultrasounds and the needles and blood tests all the time, it's a very hard experience. If there was a less invasive alternative to IVF, I would definitely have gone down that road for sure. So IVM is particularly well suited to women who don't wish to receive hormones for infertility treatment, for women with polycystic ovaries, uh, for women who suffer from cancer and who wish to preserve their fertility, and for male factor infertility. We don't necessarily see IVM replacing IVF, but we hope that in the future we will have both IVF and IVM available for the patients, depending on their individual needs. So this advance is not yet available. It's at the preclinical stage in Brussels, and we hope that this will be available to couples in the coming years.